starting this list with an old school favorite. It's the cross bench pullovers. This one is gonna be hitting the lats, but also it's just a great upper body exercise in general. So what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is lay crossways on a bench, supporting your upper back, you're gonna to wanna to keep those hips low, and with a barbell or dumbbell, you're gonna go ahead and try to extend as far back as you can, really hitting those lats before bringing it back to the top position. This one was one of Arnold's favorites, in addition to a whole load of other old school, golden age bodybuilders, and we shouldn't let it be forgotten. Coming in at number two on our list is going to be the Farmer's Walk with Trap Bar. Don't have a trap bar available? We'll go ahead and use a pair of dumbbells. So to perform this exercise, you're gonna step inside the trap bar, you're gonna perform a deadlift into the top position, you're gonna slightly shrug those shoulders to keep tension, and then you're gonna start walking. How far do you walk? Well, that depends on your grip and upper back strength. Go forth, young man, and become buff. Coming in at number three on the list is gonna be the one-arm landmine row. This one is going to be hitting the lats, but it's also a unilateral exercise, meaning it's gonna be focusing on any kind of muscle imbalances. So if you have one side that's stronger or weaker than the other, you can focus on that weaker side. To perform this exercise, go ahead and safely secure a bar, step into a staggered stance beside the bar, grab onto it, and in a stretch position, bring your elbow all the way up as high as you can, really hitting and contracting that lat before bringing it back down to the bottom position. Do you really wanna be like Superman but you have none of his powers? Then you're gonna to wanna to try out exercise number four on the list. It's the Superman, and it's a great exercise for the lower back. So what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is lay in a prone position on the floor with your hands outstretched. You're gonna go ahead and just slightly bring up both your arms and your legs, hold for a split second before putting back down to the starting position. A Little bit of back extension, great for the lower back, and it's also an excellent way of making you look like a total idiot while at the gym. Hey, worst case scenario, you end up on one of those gym fail compilation videos which are so hot on YouTube right now. Did you try out the Supermans and you couldn't fly? Are you depressed? Well, that leads us right into scapular depressions. This one is a great exercise because if you're having problems performing your first pull-up, this one is gonna be a major component of that exercise. So you get this down and you're well on your way. In order to perform the scapula depressions, what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is get into a pull-up position, make sure that your feet are off the ground, and what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is depress your scapula back before releasing and bringing it back into the beginning position. It's really a rather easy exercise, but you're really gonna to wanna to implement this one into your routine if you are having problems performing those pull-ups, which a lot of people do, and you don't wanna forget the pull-ups because it's one of the greatest exercises you can perform. There we go, dudes and girls. Five back exercises you may not have heard of, but you should definitely be implementing into your exercise routine. We hope you enjoyed this series, and please suggest the new one. We've got a lot of big projects on the way, and as always, until next time, stay puffed.